welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your butterfly bubu dress now don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out so now what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style your shoulder measurements your bust your waist your hip and your gown length you also discover that our shoulder measurements we have 22 inches which is a whole lot for your regular shoulder measurements right so there are two ways in which you can achieve your shoulder measurement the first one is your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement so your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement will be equal to your shoulder measurements and the other way to achieve this is simply by placing your tape measure at the middle bone here which is your shoulder measurement and then you take it up to where you want it to get up to so if you want it to stop at this point or you want it to come longer it depends on the length so whatever you have there will serve as your shoulder measurement so for me i have 22 inches or you can add your shoulder measurements plus your sleeve measurements and you also arrive at the same answer so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements so our shoulder measurements is 24 plus 22 plus 2 inches i have 24 inches my bust is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches our gown length is 60 60 plus 2 we have 62 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your butterfly booboo -boo dress so you can also join us for training trainings are available both online training and physical training and i'm going to go ahead and put down the details in the description box below please note that in the course of this tutorial if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or you have any topic you want us to make a video on so you can go ahead and drop that in the comment section so now let's move straight to the cutting part of this tutorial and don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also turn on the bell in order for you to get notifications once a video pop up so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial <laughs> now we want to achieve a booboo dress okay now i'm making use of this african print and the first thing i did was i went ahead to fold my fabric into four so after folding your fabric into four this is basically what it looks like now the reason why i am marking or marking at the front side of my fabric is simply because so that you guys can see my chalk clearly okay but if you want to cut yours you are basically to mark it at the wrong side of your fabric but because of clarity of this video that is why i am marking it on the front so this is what we have now i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into four once i'm done with that the next thing i need to do is to take my shoulder measurement okay now my shoulder measurement is 24 inches that is what i used to fold this part and i've explained earlier on how to get your shoulder measurements but anyways your shoulder measurements is simply the combination of your shoulder and your sleeve okay so by the time you add your shoulder measurements and your sleeve measurements this is what you have so once you are done with that now you go ahead and mark your basic measurements which is shoulder to bust nine and a half inches Shoulder to bust nine and a half, bust to waist eight inches, bust to waist waist eight inches, waist to hip nine inches. Now I have a detailed video where I explain distance calculation, how to get your shoulder to bust, bust to waist, waist to hip, and I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description box below. Please make sure you watch that video in order for you to understand why I have my 
bust to waist to be eight inches and waist to hip to be nine inches so now from my waist to knee length we also need to mark our waist to knee length which is 17 inches okay waist to knee length i have 17 inches waist to knee length i have 17 inches and of course i have my gown length so this is what we have now the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and cut out the neckline of my gown so for the wideness of my neckline i'll be making use of three inches for the wideness and for the depth i'll be making use of five inches okay so i'm making use of three inches by five and of course i want a round neckline so this is what we have for my neckline what we have for my neckline which is three inches by five this is our bust line our waist now this is our hip line and then we have our knee length okay we have our waistline hip line and our knee length so we have our gown length you can see our gown length we have our gown length so we are going to start our markings from this gown length we are going to start our markings from this gown length and for this gown length we are going to mark our hip measurements okay we are going to mark our hip measurements which i have 12 inches our hip measurements which is 12 inches but note that this has to be free okay it has to be free so that you can walk well and you have ease around that part so you go ahead and add inches to it so you can add three inches to five inches it just depends on how free you want it to be at the lower side so i'm going to go ahead now and add four and a half you can add three inches you can add so you can add five it just depends on what you want at this lower part and the reason why we have this at this lower part is to have is around your around your length area right but if you don't want it to have if you don't want to, it to be free there are two ways in which you can achieve this now for the second way is that if you don't want this to be free you want it to be fitted it means that you are going to have a slit okay it means that you're going to have a slit at the back so i don't know which method to explain now okay let me just go ahead and add about two inches to mine okay let me go ahead and add about two inches and then i'll explain how to get your slit okay so let me just make use of two inches because if you are making use of slit at the back it means that you are not adding so much allowance to this lower part the reason why we went ahead to add four inches is if you don't want to have a slit at the lower part okay so it's fitted because if you use your exact hip measurement it means that it's going to be fitted and since it's fitted you might not be able to work properly so that means that you're going to open this part up to give you a slit I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say, but like it's basically very simple. Now, let me just come again. This is our basic hip measurement where we have 12 inches, right? I went ahead to explain that you can add inches to this part, which is about four, three to five inches. Now, if you add inches to this part, it means that you automatically make the lower part of this dress to be free. And since the lower part of the dress is free, you don't need a slit, okay? You don't need a slit because it is free. But if you want to open this up to give you a slit that says you want the lower part to be fitted i will just add two inches and the reason why i'm adding two inches is because of my slit allowance so i'll just add two inches so it depends you can either go with the free one or with the fitted one with a slit so let's maintain the fitted one with a slit I feel like that is better or more difficult so let me just explain that so all together now we are going to have 14 inches so i'll mark my 14 inches i'll mark my 14 inches i'll mark my 14 inches now don't forget that okay i'll go ahead now and connect the lines so this is my hip line i've gone ahead to connect it to the skirt um gown length rather now another thing you also have to determine is at what part of your gown do you want to have your 
cano effect is it at your knee area do you want it to start from your knee area do you want it to start from your hip area do you want it to start from your waist but basically if you start from your waist i don't think you are going to have a very good shape at the end of the day right i don't think starting from the waist is actually a nice idea but it varies from the hip area to your knee area so you basically have like from your waist this part up to your knee area to determine where and how long you want it to be i know that it depends on you so you can just come down let's say you want it to be between your waist and your hip you can just pick a point between the waist and the hip so this is the point between the waist and the hip you can decide you want it to come down to the hip it just depends on you at the end of the day but basically whatever you decide so now let me just go with this point between my waist to my hip so this line now I hope you guys are not confused but let me know if you have any question in the comment section so this is our waistline this is our hip line we said that we went ahead to mark this point just to start our cape from and i said it depends on you so if you are starting with this line now it simply means that you are going to mark this 14 inches also up to wherever you want to start connecting it from okay you're basically just marking this 14 inches up to wherever you decide you want to connect it from so once you are done now the next thing you're basically going to do now is to go ahead and connect what you have here to this part of your dress which is your bust area this is your bust so you're just connecting it and look at what i'm doing at this point you will discover that okay let me try to zoom it in a little you will discover that this point now i am not making it sharp so I'm just giving it like a curve, just like a curve area and I will stop Yeah. So can you see what I have? I just went ahead now to give this a curve this way. So this is what we are going to have. This is what we are going to have. So just go ahead now and give this a curve where you have your 14 inches up to your shoulder. So if you want this part to be big guys simply means that you are going to fold so much for your shoulder allowance so it depends on how big you want this dress to be at the end of the day so because for me since at the end of the day by the time i'm done sewing this my waist measurements after dividing everything is around 9.5 so if this is my waist measurements you can see that i still have so much to serve as my booboo because don't forget that what we are achieving is a booboo dress and then we've added so much to it already so at this point now you just go ahead and connect it to give it a curve this is basically what it looks like so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so this is what we have let me just come again so we folded our fabric into four we marked our neckline which is three inches by five for the fullness of our fabric we made this of our shoulder measurements we serve as our booboo so we said that our shoulder measurements there are two ways to calculate that your shoulder plus your sleeve and that totally depends on where you want your booboo dress to get up to so once you are done with that you come down to your gown length now you mark your hip measurements and then i said that there are two ways to achieve this style one if you want the lower part to be free it means that the lower part to be free and then you don't have a slit so in that case now i just added two inches to serve as my slit allowance and then i marked what i have up to where i want to have my curve up to where i feel like i want this shape to start from and i said that it varies from the waist area to your knee area however for me i just found somewhere around my waist to my hip in between that part and then i marked this point so i went ahead now to connect my 14 inches all the way from my gown length and then i gave it this round shape curve so once you are done with that basically i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys now i've gone ahead now to cut this out and you can see what it looks like and then you can also see the shape of what we have and you can see our neckline and then i went ahead now to connect this shape you can see what we have all the way inside so now to stitch this is actually very easy to achieve so i'll go ahead now and open this up 
now I've opened this up, you can see what we have. It's actually very nice. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and couple this up. So in order for you to couple this up, the first thing you are basically going to do is you are going to go ahead and M the neckline. So you are going to go ahead now and M the neckline and you are aiming the neckline for the front block and also for the back block so you can either aim your neckline with a bias or with a facing so after aiming this neckline together i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now we've gone ahead now to aim our neckline you can see what the neckline looks like we've gone ahead now to aim it and this is what it looks like so this is what we have you can see the shape of what we have at this side so once you are done now the first thing you are going to do now is to measure your arm o okay you are basically going to measure your arm o so my shoulder to arm o is nine inches shoulder to arm o is nine inches this is where i have my nine inches so at this point now you will go ahead now and notch it a little at this point so go so i've gone ahead now to notch this part which will serve as our arm o now from this part that we've notched we'll basically go ahead now and so now this is where we've notched you can see that we've notched this part so once you are done now the next thing you are basically going to do now is you are going to go ahead and stitch this side make sure you follow your curve the curve or the shape you have at this part while you are sewing is so you go ahead now and stitch this part all the way down to your gown length and also you also do the same for this second part so you also go ahead and mark your so for this second part also you also go ahead now and mark your shoulder to um, oh, we made this of nine inches for the other part so you also go ahead now and mark that once you've marked that also on this side you go ahead and notch this and then you stitch it make sure you follow the shape of what you have all the way down so once i'm done with that i'll show you guys what next you have to do so guys this is what we have after stitching it and it's so cute guys so you can see the nine inches we left at this part so this is where our sleeve basically where your arm is going to come out from and of course you can see that we just followed the shape so there's no need for you to like sew it to give it another shape just follow what you have so at this point now you go ahead and iron it so that when you iron it you can have your shape being laid well like your shape will lay very well now even with this already like this is another form of booboo so by the time you put this on this is what you are going to have i don't know if you guys know this booboo this bat swing booboo okay if you guys don't know just let me know in the comment section and i'm going to make a video on that so with this now you have like your bat swing booboo let me try to see if i can show you guys like the whole front oh okay so with this now you basically have like your bat swing booboo you can see that this upper part will be up and then you have your shape and here will be fitted so that's what we have now but that is not what we are doing today so let's move on to what next we have to do but if you want me to make a video on that please drop that in the comment section now at this point now this is my midpoint that is the middle line of my gown this is the middle line of my gown okay don't forget that i'm chucking this at the front because i want you guys to see it so this is the middle of my dress and this is our arm o line if you can remember while we we're cutting it this is our waistline our hip line you can see that they are still showing and then we have our knee length so these are the lines we have now what we are going to do now is to go ahead now and stitch this okay stitch it to give you your perfect size so now because we want to mark this on one side and beside 18 divided by 2 we have 9 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 11 inches so at this middle point now you go ahead and mark your 11 inches 
also you place your tape measure this way at this middle point you mark your 11 inches so by the time you are done for the full front this is where we have our 11 inches on this hand and on this other part this is where we have our 11 inches so by the time you are done and then you take your measurement you are going to have 22 inches so now we move to our waistline move to our waistline we have 9.5 on this part now you are going to mark your 9.5 on one side also you also do the same for the second side of your dress so this is where we have 9.5 that is our waist now for the hip for the hip measurements now we have 11.5 11 measure hip measurements we have 11.5 i'll mark 11.5 at this other part also i'll mark 11.5 so once you've done that now you just go ahead now and connect the lines together connect the lines together bust waist waist to hip and also connect this other part also so we'll go ahead now and connect this other part now you will discover that i did not connect my hip line all the way down no i stopped at this hip area i stopped at the hip area so what we are going to do now is because what we still want to achieve is our booboo effect and when you are stitching booboo you are basically stitching it on the front okay and also i have a video where i explained booboo dress with zip in front so that form of booboo we have our zip in front i'm also going to go ahead and put down the link of that booboo in the description box below so that you can go ahead and watch how to achieve your booboo dress with zip in front so now we've gone ahead now to take our bust measurements waist measurements and our hip and i stopped at the hip area and the reason why i stopped here is because so that at this lower part we still want to have that is around the lower part so because for your regular booboo also for your regular normal booboo which i have a tutorial on we all know that we don't stitch this lower part of our booboo so that you can walk freely so once you are done now you've marked your bust your waist and your hip you are basically going to stitch on it you are stitching on it that is just place it this way on your sewing machine and then you stitch exactly on the front okay you're stitching on the front and you just go ahead and follow this line you stitch this part and also you stitch this second part so once i'm done stitching this i'll show you guys what our dress looks like so guys after stitching it you can see that we've gone ahead to stitch where we have the lines and also we did the same for the second part so after stitching it now this is what it looks like so i'm going to put this on the mannequin and then show you guys what it looks like and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you have any question drop it in the comment section so let's go ahead now and fit this on the mannequin but don't forget to aim the lower side of your gown okay don't forget to aim the lower side of your gown so once you are done now i'll go ahead and put this on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what we have you can see so guys this is what we have you can see our butterfly effect and you can also see that we went ahead to stitch it to give us our booboo effect and this is what the dress looks like this is so cute guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye